everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Nerdy Old Men Podcast. This is the old bald man, Chad. Go get your spoon, get your bowl, throw some of that sugar material in there we used to call cereal, splash a little water on it, get in front of the television. It's time to talk about 80s cartoons. Yes, sir. Yo, Joe, I have the power. Thundercats, 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 ho. And speaking of hoes, here's Redneck Wes. I really don't know why you're putting uh, water in your cereal, but hey, that explains a lot. You need the sugar, forget the milk. <laughs> oh, Lord, we got, a, we got a good one lined up for you today, folks, I can tell already. Um, but yeah, we're talking 80s cartoons, things that, uh, that really, I guess you could say, defined the 80s in a lot of ways for us. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and we've got uh, two of our superstar... Uh, the A team is here. In. Yeah, the A team is assembled, and I am probably Murdoch, but uh, Perfect Pat's with us, and then our uh, good old buddy Terrence, uh, the toy collector. They're yes. on with us today, and guys, we uh, we appreciate you coming in and spending a little time talking uh, cartoons with us. I always love to be here. Yes, That's sir. That's awesome. Yeah, hey, and just like you said, uh, you know, I, I know me and Terrence are big toy collectors, and I think the other two guys appreciate them too. And a lot of that generated from the thirty-minute commercial for toys, which was the, which was the eighties cartoons, right? Now, I, I'm, a toy, so. I'm a toy collector. I just don't collect the new stuff. Well, there you go. Now, I, yeah, I, I do a bit of both, and I know I know uh, Terrence does as well. Um, but let's talk about those eighties cartoons, right? Um, and, and maybe in particular how things don't some of them don't translate to today and, and I've, I've mentioned it i've mentioned it uh, uh, so many times on here and any of our listeners and especially you guys uh, that 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 reluctantly call yourselves my friends know that uh I, I, I am a Masters of the Universe guy. I, I absolutely love the toys, and I adored the cartoon as a kid, but I have tried to watch that as an adult, and it is difficult. It did not it, age it, well. I, I don't know something. <laughs> I don't know why, but as a kid, I was like, this is the most badass thing I've ever seen in my life. And Because there was adult, nothing like it. Right, and, and as an adult, I'm like, wow, that is And they did good. a really good job <laughs> of only feeding it to us one time a week. And yeah. It was very restricted. It was Saturdays only, and so it was not like today, where you can, you know, if you want to go watch an entire season of the cartoon, just go look at it on YouTube. Um, you know, we had about I don't know a four hour window on Saturdays. Yeah, six to and, ten. Six to ten. You know, a, a handful of networks that showed cartoons. And I was actually reading the other day about why there was such an explosion of cartoons in the eighties, and that was. Uh, because the FCC required networks run uh, children programming, and they reduced the restrictions on advertisements to kids. Oh yeah. So that's why that's why we had so many cartoons that were either created to sell toys or you know, they were created because there was already toys. Right. Yeah. And I, I think uh, Master of the Universe was a prime example of that. I mean, they, you know, they, I, that was an advertisement, one hundred percent. And, and those, t those those cartoons were radically different from the storyline in the comics that came with the figures. Very, oh, very, very good point. The comics were darker. And, and oh, they, yeah. Like yeah. Conan. Yeah. I mean, and, the, and, the original He-Man comics that came with the, with the figures, was it was more akin to, to Conan and, and what Howard had wrote uh, about his character that was yeah. just less restrictions i mean yeah. when it went to tv it was like hey these are the guidelines you have to follow yeah. and that's where we got in you know uh gi joe everybody knows it and uh, we got our little you know two minute segment at the end of every episode and you know, our little battle. lesson no, and no one is half the battle i mean <laughs> and, you got and red you know and that red logo and, and i'm gonna say gi joe was the a team of animated series as they <laughs> shot thousands of shots every episode and not yeah. a single person no, ever got no, hit. No. Yes. You everyone that you can parachuted take out. You can take out That's right. Any any plane exploded. Everyone always survived. Yes. The there was always yes. a parachute. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's right. <laughs> Because I can dodge out of the way of this incoming <laughs> missile. Quick, yeah. jump out. There's no morale problem at but all. Then actually, everybody's okay. <laughs> they tried to get darker. Uh, once the the lions have been alive for a while, you know, we'll say, you know, Transformers was this, you know, the first, you know, this Stupid Transformers hot rod. movie, you know, and they're like, hey, you know, we've sold Optimus Prime a thousand million billion times, 
we need to get people to buy new figures because everybody already has Optimus. But let's kill him off. The fan backlash from that movie was so it bad. It was traumatizing to kids. That's why, they. That, number one, they brought him back. And then number two, they if, uh, if you remember the G.I. Joe movie uh, that went they turned into a five-quarter. It went straight to video because they were supposed to release it in theaters. And they and killed pulled Duke it. off. Yeah, and, and Duke was supposed where you see Duke get hit by the, uh, the snake, from, snake yeah. in the chest. He was supposed to die. He says, oh, Yo man. Joe, with his final breath. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Joe. And then they also, coma. you know, there was a gym movie that was in progress, too, that they, they, they canned at the same time. Well, it was pretty traumatic when Cobra Commander turned into a snake monster. Yeah. I know. It's like, what the is the G.I. This? Joe movie? He was a used car salesman. What happened? <laughs> yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're in the comics. Sorry. Sorry. Let me change gears here. Go back. Go back. But that was one thing, too, was there was so many tie-ins. Um, if you were going to do, like, you know, with, uh, what is it? The Toys That Made Us, which is a really yeah. good mm -hmm. yeah, uh, show, show on yeah. Netflix. And it explains a lot of this, but like they were they were talking about because GI Joe had been out is I, I believe it was a twelve inch. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, definitely. Yes. I mean, you but had it was this GI Joe. You had one. It was GI Joe. That was the name of the character, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then they said, you know, well, what if we made it like a bunch of different characters, and everybody's got like different, you know, you've got a a guy that climbs mountains, and a guy that has a bazooka, and you know, you've got your ninja guy, and and they they made so many different characters and the way they would introduce a lot of them was well we've got to tie in with the comic book what do you mean we got to tie in with the comic? well you know we're gonna you know we've got figures we introduce them in the comics we introduce them on tv and it, everything kind of built upon one another and it oh it was definitely a trifecta I think there we had inflated the brand. toys comics cartoons Oh yeah, and they all kind of fed into each other. Yeah, the the triangle effect there—they all strengthened one another. You know, and, and uh, it it was kind of neat that they sort of all were the same type of thing there for a little while. You had uh, you know this heroic side and the evil side, and the evil side always had a very um, well for most of the shows a very humorous, loud, screechy bad guy. You know, Cobra Commander and Skeletor. You know, those guys were like that, and then, but. You know, as a kid, we didn't see those similarities in the way those shows were. It was still just Why does cool. Why Starscream you know? sound like Cobra Commander? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, they did the crossover episode in oh, the yeah. later Transformers. Right. Yeah. Where Snake, the weapons dealer. Yeah. Oh. And, <laughs> and, um, and, do, an and not do, Flint's daughter is in Transformers. Oh, okay. uh, is that Marissa Fairheart? Marissa the, Fairborn. Yeah, Flint Fairborn. and Lady J's daughter. Yep. I've got a figure for that one too. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Hey, this is Terrence, a cartoon obviously. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Stay focused. Later. Stay focused. No. Yeah, what's well, yeah? We we can pull it back in. So the early, early <laughs> cartoons. You know, we had Hanna Barbera. Uh, you had you know uh, all the Bugs Bunny stuff. You know right, all the right. Warner Brothers, the Rankin Bass stuff, the, the Rankin mm -hmm. Bass, and these were a little more. I mean, yeah, they were more slapstick. Well, they were you know, more and kind of more more sitcommy. Um, so there wasn't as, you know, uh, you know, cops and robbers, cowboys and Indians, uh, that we got a little later with like, you know, GI Joe transformers, uh, you know, brave star, uh, black star. I mean, there was so, I mean, there was over 150, I think properties created in 1980, uh, for cartoons. Good grief. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, on our Facebook, uh, page, we, we posed a question the other day about, uh, 80s cartoons in, in preparation for this, uh, you know, we got we got the the normals that popped up here. You know, Motu and GI Joe, uh, Mask, which I know Terrence, you're a big fan of. Oh, I love uh, Mask. Dungeon, I do too. The, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. You know, um, uh, Pat, you mentioned um, Mighty Orbots. Right. Uh, we had. I love that uh, show. We had uh, Greg McDonald mentioned Battle of the Planets. Uh, at, at Luke Petrie obviously threw in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Obviously, that you know, it's uh, Wayne Haney uh, mentioned Silverhawks. Terrence, I know you're a Silverhawks kind of guy. Oh, I, love sure. Silver I can't Hawks. wait for a live action movie of that. Our, done our, right. our uh, good buddy out at uh, Brickhouse Collectibles, uh, Pat uh, Burnett, mentioned Galaxy Rangers, and he also oh, said that one. he also said that that had the the best uh, intro theme song in all cartoons. Oh. And I tried to get him to sing it, and he wouldn't. So I, okay, I, that's fine. I, that, Pat. that one's arguable. <laughs> See, I think. <laughs> my, I think 
Mighty Orbots has the yeah. best. Well, there you go. Oh, okay. Come on. I, I like the I like the Thundercats intro. It's, it's yes, yes, as well, I did earlier in in fine fashion. So <laughs> and Thundercats is one of the ranking bass cartoons. Yeah, well, and it's I mean, very. I mean, you know, the music is basically is very, Thundercats yeah. in space. Exactly. And it's got and probably it's just, the sickest yeah. guitar riff. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, it really, you know, start pulling in on more, the... you know, edgier music, you know, to 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 tell the story, which is pretty cool. You know, there's others uh, that were mentioned um, that I remember toys from, but but not the cartoon. Uh, Greg Edwards mentioned Visionaries. Mm-hmm. Uh, Visionaries. I, I don't think I ever recall watching. Line. I don't ever watch yeah, the cartoon I don't myself. The cartoon as much, uh, there's, I, I think there's only about 13 episodes. Yeah, it. it's not. It's not a very long <laughs> run, but it was really it's well a hologram done. phase. You know, the 80s hologram yeah. phase. <laughs> and of course, Transformers uh, cosplay Cody through in Transformers. We can't. You know, we can't not mention that well so. i mean i think there's certain ones you know like yeah. gi joe and he man captain planet yes Cap- <laughs> <laughs> captain planet yeah by your powers combined Come and, and, uh, Bionic another, Six. An, another um kind of sleeper when i'm meant to mention was thundar the barbarian oh yeah thundar. i love thundar i've got action figure for him too <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's Oopla. an action figure made turns as yes it? Uh, yes, yes, well, yes. I mean, it, it was funny because the cartoons were so. I mean, it was, they were all over the place because I can remember like uh, the well, I won't say the original Spider Man, but like Spider Man uh, and, and Spider. Well, there was that's the thing. There was Spider Man, and at the same time, there was Spider Man and his amazing friends, right? Yeah, which I think actually had a longer run than Spider Man, which is funny. But you know, <laughs> it introduced so many of the characters that were in the books, and that. That helped me kind of expand other, you know, because like when you're a little kid, you know, you know, Spider-Man and Captain America. Oh, you connect. I mean, it's ex- definitely, you know, because when you, you know, see I more of the outlier, outlier characters, you know, the secondary and with uh, Spider-Man and Ama- the Amazing Friends, they introduced Firestar, who was never in the books before. No, she was uh, completely made up for that episode, and uh, and I. I actually have her first appearance in comics, which I do too. again we start going into the other stuff. But... <laughs> I've got an action figure for her coming. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to mention since we said Spider Man and the Amazing Friends, uh, our good buddy Wayne the Cyborg did mention Spider Man and the Amazing Friends too because he, he he's a big fan of that also. So it's awesome. I mean, they, there were so many. I mean, like I said, there were so many properties that they made, not they only new the, ones. They turned the Muppets but, into a cartoon. Yeah. But Muppet yeah, babies. Muppet babies. <laughs> they turned Alf into a cartoon. Alf? Yeah, two cartoons. Yeah. You had Alf and Alf Tales. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah I didn't know that. I didn't that know true. that. I mean, it, you know, th- that was the that was the time. You know, there was all, and uh, that was a good time though, right? I mean, oh, was, yeah. you know, I mean, there's you, you, you get to just sit there and, and, like I said, with your sugar coated cereal and 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 watch these things, and I mean, and it, they were good times. And it makes me just think of how many they made. How did we watch all these cartoons in such a small span of time? I have well, no I idea. Well, selected. you had your you had your daily after school cartoons, your Thundercats, uh, your Silverhawks, your Mask, and then you had your weekly Saturday cartoons. Your oh, we, Masters of the Universe we mentioned. Um, well, Judge uh, yeah, Joe was Teenage a Saturday, Ninja right? Uh, well, Smurfs. Yeah, Smurfs. Um, J- I remember Joe the the '80s school. version of the Super Friends, the Amazing Super Powers show. Yes, yeah. Now I'm going to throw that in there. I have toys for that. I, so I, I have toys for that. So. I, I love Super Powers collections. So I've got those over there. But you know, I mean, it, it, the thing about all these these '80s cartoons that I always liked is is um, the team aspect of these, and you always had. Uh, different dynamics within those teams. I mean, uh, you know, it, Master Universe is an example too, but I guess um, G.I. Joe was a very good example where you had this whole, on both sides, this whole collage of different personalities that came together for a common mission. And I think as as kids and young people of the 80s, that, that taught us valuable lessons. You could work with people even if they were just a little bit different or crazy, you know, like Wes. Oh, yeah, I mean, and you they, never actually noticed that G.I. Joe failed a lot of times, which oh, I yeah, never remember to look back succeeded. that every major, like, you know, uh, like their big five-part episodes, they always Pyramid failed somehow. <laughs> yeah, Pyramid of Darkness, the Weather Dominator, yes. uh, Serpentor, Arise, all those, they all failed to stop it every time. <laughs> yes, you know, I make jokes about the Weather Dominator deal, <laughs> that if I ever actually win the lottery, I'm going 
in my Cobra Commander cosplay, and I'm going to say that I'm going to buy a Weather Dominator now with the money. <laughs> well, I, my big thing is if I ever win the lottery, people will know because on top of McLeod Mountain will sit Castle Grayskull. There you go. That's right. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> we have the technology to do that now. We can 3D print that. There you know, we go. I've seen them you know, make buildings out of concrete using a massive 3D printer. So. But, uh, well, there's something else about the 80s that uh, I don't think you could get away with now is look at the number of cartoons that were made that were based off of live action movies. You had okay. Ghostbusters, Rambo, right. Rambo, RoboCop, Karate <laughs> Kid. <laughs> yeah, the Karate Kid, yeah. Chuck <laughs> Norris <laughs> and his Karate <laughs> Commando. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T and the Team Force. <laughs> There's no way you could make a a cartoon for for kids based off of an R-rated yeah, well, I mean, movie. I mean, well, yeah, right. po- there was a Police Academy cartoon. That's You're right. right. Well, yeah. Conan had had a cartoon. That's true. But it but it was young Conan, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Well, uh, he was that. younger, but you know, he had like uh, what was it? Uh, Fox the 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 phoenix or something that was living his shield and eat pomegranates. <laughs> and, Are you talking uh, about Pirates of Dark Water? <laughs> no, no, this is Shonga Wonga. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the most disappointing animated series of all time it is the firefly of animated series i know it we, had we, a I, great story that it we did never and they just the canned animated. it and i was like wow why did they kill it off oh it, it's like we were talking about um, I mean, <laughs> yeah. we were talking about oh what cartoon was it uh, jason the wheeled warriors oh that love that too one that JMS was part of? Yes. If I remember correctly, they canceled it and replaced it with Laverne and Shirley in the Army. Oh, my <laughs> That gosh. sounds right. And I think a lot of that may have to do with toy sales. I mean, because all these cartoons were really, I mean, that's what they were hoping for, to land toy sales. Well, I mean, and oh, if they yeah. didn't like deliver. The Transformers, I, I, you know, it's like we bring in new characters. And G.I. Joe did the same thing. They would bring in I new remember, characters. yeah, going back and watching old Transformers cartoons. And you'll just be watching, and all of a sudden, here's a new Transformer just, random, happy, random just Transformer randomly happy. shows up. And oh, it's yeah. like, huh. Yeah, but it, also... Yeah. A, a, a lot of people don't realize, you know, well, the, the newer generation is uh, a lot of these cartoons ran in syndication, which means I think they had to have 60 episodes. Right. And they gave them over to the networks, and the networks were allowed to show them in any order they wanted to. Oh, and so yes. that, that created a lot of continuity problems or, like, ordering. Like, you know, it's hard to know which order you're supposed to watch the shows. So, wait a minute. What's he doing as <laughs> a good guy? He's a bad guy. It's and like, so that's why it was rare for us to get episodes that actually, you know, uh, span more than one episode, or stories that span more than one episode. Well, that was like, um, which I'm, uh, one of my favorite was, was Robotech, because that was one of the earliest ones that I can remember. Oh, yeah. And the cartoon Robotech, soap opera. Well, Robotech was based, you know, in Japan, it was, that's where it was created, but it was based off three different shows that had the same animation style. And they, they bought the rights to all of them, rewrote stuff and edited it all together so all three shows became robotech yeah and and that's where you get if i'm not mistaken patrick that's where you get like the the chapters you know the macross saga and yeah uh, but it was you end up you get into different shows what well, was one of those ones they did that they would air stuff out of sequence and i'm like Man, what's, what, Wait they're, they're supposed to be fighting what these happened? guys. Why are they friends with you know? Where did the motorcycle guy come from? That's right. It, where, where is who is this? And you then you kind of watch it because they'd play you know six seven episodes you know that were together you know and it, you're like okay making a little sense now and then next thing you know okay there's the SDF one what the heck why is it crashed <laughs> what's going on <laughs> So as a kid, it was rough because you're trying to piece all this together because they were just, you know, I we got programmed. Yeah, some some dudes just pulling a tape off the wall and throwing it in. Yeah, just whatever, right? You know, <laughs> but you're right. There's weird, random characters just popping up, and uh, Master Universe did that too. Just like this background character just happened to be in a fight scene, you didn't know who he was, but then when you showed up at uh, Roses or Kmart or something, and it's there, there's on the shelf, figure. and I'm like, hey, I need that guy. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's what they were told. They're like, hey, you know, we need these number of episodes. Here's all the toys. Introduce them. Yeah. 
Uh, and so I think you know, a lot of the writers, you know, uh, kudos to them for trying to keep a consistent story as much as they did. Yeah. Well, you had some that really tried, and then you had some that's just like, okay, whatever. The guy, okay, he, here, here, you know. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I think, like, you know, we keep going back to the, the toys that made us, because um, I know they had that's a great show. talked. Well, it is a good show. But they had talked to some of the writers that had, and, you know, they were like, we were struggling sometimes because it was just like we want to tell this story and you've got you know an exec coming in saying make this 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 is the next toy make this character important yeah uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> you just, and i think yeah. that's you know uh because what I, I was reading some stuff the other day the first gi joe episode they actually brought in a uh i forget what his name was but to, to write the first uh couple of episodes and they only wanted the 30 Hammer? No, it wasn't Larry Hammond to do the uh, the cartoon, but they brought somebody in to do, and they said, we just want a 30-minute episode. He goes, no, no, I need to build out, you know, like, uh, like a movie. You know, we can do Is it as a, you know, a couple of like parts. Of Darkness? Yeah, like a miniseries. He goes, we need to build up a family of people so that everyone connects with them and they'll want to buy the toys and they'll have a connection to it. Yeah, I mean, I... I... I remember, you know, you'd watch these shows during the week or on, on Saturday, in particular like the toy brands that I collected. And, and uh, you know, then I'd go on Thursdays when my dad got paid to Roses or Kmart back in the day up there where we lived. And I'd go, I was like, I, I need Zartan because that dude's cool, you know. And I'd go and dig through the shelves. And, of course, at the time, the, they were available, you know, unlike today. Well, but, and, and you couldn't <clears> get Zartan <throat> as an individual figure. You had well, it was righteous. His, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, that's right. I mean, I, I pulled that character out of my head because I'm sitting here looking at the new classic <laughs> right. that I have on my shelf. But that, but but yeah, I mean, it, it did sell the stuff, but they were still entertaining because uh, going back to a point I made before, like Motu, I, I can't watch it now, even though I love the figures. But um, you can go on YouTube, the Hasbro site, and watch G.I. Joe 24-7. Yep. It just rolls. And yeah. that thing's fun. To, that's a good show. It's still fun to watch. Oh yeah, yeah. there's times you're yeah. like, what the heck? I think the, the, when I think of GI Joe, there's one episode that always comes to mind qu more uh, quickly than anything else, and it's the one where they're like little um, little kids. It's that shipwreck in it, and it's like Mother Goose. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that episode? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, with me, the, the definitive G.I. Joe episodes are worlds without end. Oh, where they go yes. to the alternate timeline where Cobra yeah. won. That, yeah. Yes. I, they actually had that on that, that you know constant scrolling just a couple of weeks ago. That was cool. And there was a couple characters stayed behind in that other alternate. Grunt, Grunt and, Steeler, and Steeler and Clutch, and Clutch all stayed right. behind. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Because I'd forgotten that. Because like, there's they no found, way those guys are going to stay their here. Universe, or they found that universe's version of them, like where they were dead, and they're like, yeah, yeah. That, that, that that was an Uncle O and Aunt Baru kind of moment. Well, yeah. I mean, the reason the one guy stayed is because in that alternate universe he had a thing going with Baroness. That's Heck the yeah. only reason that ass get, asshole stayed. He <laughs> was like, I'm a loser back in the other world, but I'm, I'm it's rocking here. I'm I got a here. chance here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you blame him? It's the well, I mean, I'm just saying. I just that's the only reason he stayed. It wasn't for like the good of the world, air quotes. You know, but these buddies bullshit. were like, "Hey, we've got to avenge the, you know, the, the stealer and the or the the grunt and the clutch from this world." Yeah, so. hey, whatever motivates you, buddy. Now, <laughs> talking about the stream during the early parts of the plague on the Hasbro channel, they didn't show it continually like GI Joe, but they posted all the mask episodes. Yeah, oh, and, and I, I enjoy that first season. That second season is hot vomit. <laughs> yeah, well, if you look at the toy line, the toy line degraded quickly. Like the first two was that sets, they got, like, first the two waves. Image or the, uh, that the was like the uh, the what was it? The uh, uh, quick change. I can't remember what the term is, but it's like the uh, the toys were just basically shells, and they got they lost their. Uh, their coolness like where they could actually they were complex and the parts moved around and it was just like you know they come apart into two pieces and that was it um you know, like the uh what is it uh oh uh, i can't think of it the uh, stiletto i mean that's the out of that last set uh that is the only one that i think was actually worth anything and that was just because of the way it looked these were all uh, let's see does it say what they are on the box? I'm looking at a stiletto box right now. Uh, no, it just says stiletto. 
Because you've got a complete collection of that, though, right? Uh, not not the last set. I mean, like the first two uh, waves of them. I've got those. And then uh, the last one, I only got the stiletto because that was the uh, only one I thought was cool. Because that was the only way you could get Gloria Baker. Right. Okay. All right. I mean, that was a neat. That was a neat cartoon too, though. Did you say that was an afternoon one, Pat? Is that what you said? That was with Ma- was mask. I remember afternoon? watching Mask on weekday afternoons. Yeah, so. I think I think it, I think it was. Now some of them, I think, kind of once they hit syndication, they I think they moved from Saturday morning. Uh, that's because they had so many. I mean, that's had that had to be what it was. I mean, they made so many cartoons. Hey, we need another time slot for these, and they were like, "Hey, we're making you know millions and billions of dollars on toy sales." Let's get these on the kids as soon as they get out of school, then. But I, I mean, I, I'll tell you one thing. It was funny you were talking about, like you know, your your bowl of cereal with water, uh, Chad. <laughs> and uh, but you know, like, because like me and my sister, you know, we'd be watching cartoons, and heaven forbid, you either had to run to the kitchen to get something, or you had to go to the bathroom, because oh, yeah. you will no never pausing. move faster in your life until yeah. you're here. It's back on. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. turtle in the couch. Yeah. You know? I think that was the uh, the conditioning of eating in front of the TV. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> they, they, uh, they, these these producers they had it all planned out, right? They're going to entertain, sell toys, give you exercises all together. And then <laughs> and, and cereal. I mean, you keep, you've mentioned cereal several times. I mean, oh, think about. That's right. I mean, pretty much every show had a cereal of some kind. Yes, they did. Oh yes. I mean, like you had, the, you had the Star Wars droids. You had C three PO. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you I mean, it was have a cereal at, at one point. Yeah, was everything, it? everything had a well, you cereal. Had, I, you I, had a Mister T cereal that was T shaped <laughs> corn. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. those are good. GI uh, Joe <laughs> stars. Make you tough. There, there's a huge collector's market on those cereals. Oh, I'm sure there Which is. Which blows my mind. I like you want old cereal. I think a lot of it's for the box art. It is. Oh, it absolutely yeah. is. Yeah. But, but going I mean, back yeah, to, you know, I might want to eat the cereal again though. <laughs> <laughs> well, going back to the, like the artwork though, uh, you know how how characters would change from you know, you know you had like the original GI Joe artwork, and they were set up as a military unit. The only ones that were that were different uh, were Scarlet and Snake Eyes. And then and quick kick. Well, no, yeah. I'm talking about like the original ones, like from you know, like the original thirteen. The eighty savvy, savvy, savvy. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, they were the only ones that had different uniforms. Um, and then when you you saw some of them in the the show, you know, they changed color because I know like uh, Breaker, they for some reason he went from green to gray. Um, but like okay. Um, <laughs> But then, yeah, then they got some really wild costumes, like like Quick Kick. You know, it's like, dude ain't got no shirt, ain't got no shoes, but he's got a band. You know, he's got like a, yeah, but, a sash with throwing I mean, that, stars in it. But, you know, I mean, that, that's another thing about uh, at the uh, I don't know the image that the '80s cartoons, in particular, kind of gave us. You know, there was that that karate phase. You know, yeah. Well, karate I mean, that was kid, karate kid. And, you know, yeah, I mean, 80s, '80s kids. All you wanted to do was get jacked like He Man. Uh, I'm be able going to, to be, be a ninja. Yes, be able to do <laughs> karate and be a ninja, drive a really cool car, blow stuff up, yeah. and fly an F-14. I mean, See, that, you that, could do, that you was could do a whole episode on 80s karate movies. <laughs> yes. and, oh, of course. No, I mean, they took no off joke. like crazy. No joke, absolutely. Mr. Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to like, Mark go Roberts. up and hit something, you know, like do the brachial chop on somebody and they instantly pass out. You know? yes. I didn't understand why they didn't work on the playground. <laughs> but you know, the, uh, you're talking about the, these cartoons translating, like, uh, like I said before, I, and I've tried to, you know, like show my kids some of these, and, and, and Motu's obviously not good, but I was watching He Man, you know, if, if, we're in our mid, well, some of us in the mid 40s, and I'm sitting there watching uh, um, G.I. Joe on YouTube, and my kid comes in my son and he's like what's this i said gi joe and he sat there and watched it with me he's like this is really cool and i'm like that's awesome that a kid from that generation thinks this is cool yeah that yeah. show translates yeah, yeah i mean it's it's it's, 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 it's kind of timeless i mean because you know they had future tech a little bit yeah. um and and so they weren't really tied down uh, to a lot of 80s things well they they gi joe in particular kind of got into some dark areas sometimes because i remember uh, you're talking about episodes that come to mind uh i remember there was one where um uh, 
they they were trying to get the uh, uh, some secret formula that they'd put in Shipwreck's head, and they created the whole town, you know, like in false memories and, and like synthesoids and stuff. And they were they're trying to get it out, <laughs> you know, to and, he, and and they they kept going on, you know. He's like the only one that knew was Lady J, and she's dead. You know, there's no way you could. Talk well, I mean, about talking now. about dark things, let's talk about Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Oh, yeah. That oh. the actual group of kids discussed about killing Venger. Like, right. you know, I mean, they contemplated just assassinating him so they could win. Right. Well, <laughs> and, the and game, let, let's, t- let's talk about this as gamers that we didn't realize at the time. But if you watch that cartoon now, they're in hell. Yeah. Yes. yeah. They're in the nine hells. They're in the yeah. nine hells. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But all of this is just another piece of evidence that shows that kids that grew up during that time are tougher than than kids <laughs> than millennials and kids our days. And I'm sorry if that oh, offends absolutely. anybody, but I don't care. So, <laughs> but go back and watch some 80s cartoons, you get tougher. And, and I really hated that the Dungeons & Dragons toy line didn't have the Dungeons & Dragons cartoon characters in it. Do you know why that is? I do not. It's because of the property change, the ownership. Uh, LJN uh, was making the uh, the line of figures based on right. I have I have uh, several of those. Yeah, you know, Fortress Fang, all that other stuff. You know, I have that. Uh, oh, and you got so, Fortress Fang. Oh. Uh, yeah. The cartoon was made after LJN got the contract to make the toys, and so once the property of the cartoon started, LJN didn't have the license to make toys from the cartoon, but the people making the cartoon had the ability to use characters from the toy line, so that's why you Which had, is like, why they inserted War Duke. War Duke, Strongheart, you know, they yes. could put them in, but they couldn't go the other way. Now, there was a, I think in Brazil or, or Spain, uh, there was a line of toys, PVC figures, that was made for the cartoon. They're I, I, I had, I had Bobby. <laughs> and so and people are asking all the time like can you not please make some of these toys the iron studios did a line of statues which look awesome but they're oh they're impressive. gorgeous yeah yeah those are really cool i mean every time i see those the colors in the dungeon and dragons cartoon just pop so well well and, and this is speaking of dungeon and dragons cartoon uh and I, someone back me up on this because you know i have read i've listened to the official version they talk about the last episode not being made. Correct. And there's Man a fan. Money. There's a fan. It was Where actually it written, out though. It's well, yeah, it was, that written was actually on the on the on the DVD for the for the show. It, they they act out the, the yeah. last episode. What was going to happen? Yes. I distinctly remember the archer shooting at the uh, what Eric. <laughs> Okay, because I get, I get worked up about this because I can remember watching it. I remember Take Hank shoot. I remember Hank shooting at Eric and and it bouncing off his shield and hitting the dragon. And it was like a, I believe it was a gold dragon, if I'm not mistaken. And I can remember because they were they were mad at each other. They were going and it and when I heard them do the you know act out the uh, the last episode on the DVD, I'm like. I've seen this, and they swear up and down that people have said they've seen it, but it's like some, you know, mass hysteria or something. I don't. It, know. It, 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 it's the Mandela effect. It's That's like the sin, it's yeah. like the sin bad um, genie movie. Yeah. So there is some fan that cut together, basically shots from the cartoon, and then some like hand drawn things and some what to try to animate that last episode. Yeah, but I can remember this as a kid watching it on TV, and that's that's where I, I'm like, maybe we just dreamed it because I mean in that last episode, I mean they uh, they you know had the writer write up the last episode. He was the one that actually knew exactly what was going on, and they kind of just ended it. The kids get home. Well, n- no, they leave it ambiguous because it's like they have the option they can stay yeah. in the realm or they can go home. And then there and was it, and uh, it ends right there, and you don't know what their decision was. Where did they show up again? Because you find I mean, out that there's... Was, they was... show up in the first issue of the Forgotten Realms comic. That's what it was. That's what it was. I knew they show, as showed adults, up someplace. As adults, Bobby's, that's right. Bobby's an absolute giant of a barbarian. <laughs> 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 that was a good show. But that's one of those things that was just it just um, introduced a lot of us to Dungeons & Dragons. 
and uh, even though yeah, it was, and it I don't even remember. Weird, I mean, but, I know you know. at the at the time it was very uh, Dungeon Dragons was frowned upon, which I don't remember even because I didn't really watch the news as a child. I mean, I, looking back now, all the groups that just went nuts over it was crazy. Oh, the satanic panic was real. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, was Tom like, Hanks made a made for TV. I remember yeah. watching the movie and being like, "Man, this is crazy." <laughs> and then many years later, <laughs> we're sitting around here rolling dice. Well, it wasn't that many. Years. I, I remember watching the movie and think. Damn, I'm playing this game wrong, apparently. <laughs> None of this stuff is happening. All this my friends are still alive. Where's the math? Yeah. yeah. Where's the math in this movie? I don't see any math going on here. But uh, you talk about that cartoon. Is I, He's I use, not said I use, think at one time. <laughs> that's right. I use the image of the dungeon master, the little bald guy, uh, as the, uh, I guess it's the profile icon or whatever on Roll20. So, so you guys, that right. when we play Roll20, you, you see my little guy up yeah. there because I'm the DM. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, that, uh, that was a good one too, man. That, that was a good one too. I, and, and, and let's talk about some of the knockoff. What about... We had Transformers and its failed little brother. Go Box! Go Box actually came out before Transformers did though, in the toy line. That's true. <laughs> but it sucked, but, so. Man, well, they, well, they failed. Was, did the cartoon was for yeah. Go Bots, and I just don't think they really understood. I think it, it boils down to the writers, that, you know, because they were writing so many different things. Some of the companies were just like, I don't care who you get, make up a story and put it on the screen. And it showed. I mean, you couldn't, you know, some of the you know, cartoons were just garbage. That's funny. Hey, speaking of garbage cartoons, let's talk Marvel and the Spider Woman animated series. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Was that in the 80s? It, it yeah. came out in 1980. Okay. Yeah. I rewatched it. It was the first thing I watched on Disney Plus that was Marvel related. <laughs> Ah, you picked a good one. I, would, I was just going to watch the Marvel cartoons in order they were released that were on there. This was the first one. And I'm watching this, and I'm like, this is really bad. <laughs> I, I've got a bunch of Spider-Man, Spider-Woman man spider comics, and this ain't her. That's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It, but I, it was, it, they were flooding the market with that stuff. And, uh, but well, it, I mean, yeah, you know, good. you're talking about like comic stuff. Uh, I remember uh, Defenders of the Earth. I love Defenders of the Earth. I love because I, I loved the Phantom. I thought I just thought he was a cool character. Well, sa- same token, I love the original Flash Gordon animated series that they used a lot of the backgrounds for Masters of the Universe in. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, know that. You, you know the sparkly gold portal background? Yeah. That's straight from Flash Gordon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, because, uh, because it, it's the same. It's the now. same animation house, oh, and um, they filmation. ended Flash Gordon to make Masters of the Universe. Wow! And, and they were real big on recycling stuff because you'd have. I think that was why they they called Orco Orco, because in was his original name supposed to be start with a P or something like that. Mm, I have no idea. Something along the lines of that, but they wanted to do the O because if if they flipped the animation cell, the image would be the same. It wouldn't right. have to change anything because it's an O. And it's just a circle. You know, it doesn't matter. It reads the same. And because you know, a lot of times you'll see He Man run, run from the left, and then you'll see He Man run from the right, and it's the it's just they flipped it and just did it the other way. <laughs> Because they were making them so fast, because like like Terry said, you know there were so many, and I had to get them out so quick. And you know we, just... we weren't we weren't in Japan. We couldn't have sweatshop anime. <laughs> that's right. It's kind of labor laws here, buddy. Yeah, I was gonna say that's how those anime shows crank it out. I'm pretty sure they got anime <laughs> sweatshops over there. Oh, they do. They, they absolutely do. Um, but. I'm sure they get PTSD after they animate some of the things. <laughs> no joke. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, and it's it's funny because like uh, things that were taken from like Japan, you know, like Robotech, um, Voltron, uh, things like that. Uh, it's funny how how things got translated. <laughs> I don't see how some of these writers made sense out of what was going on because you know they most of them didn't understand what was being said, but anyways, and they're like, "Here's a gist of." You know this episode now right to make it <laughs> make sense for our audience <laughs> and it was kind of like what yeah what it's like i think megatron in the original toys was a good guy 
Yes, if I'm not mistaken. But he's also when he transformed, he was like miniature. He was it was like his, you know, his alt mode, the the gun mode, was the actual size of the P38. And when he transformed, he, he was like, you know, four inches tall. Right. And, and then yeah, in the cartoon, we can't have anymore. He's the leader, so he's got to be the biggest one. Yeah, everything's got to be touchy feely now. You <laughs> well, can't I mean, have and, and, and apparently they realized. Man, this is silly. Let's make Shockwave an actual giant gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's on Cybertron and he's huge. Megatron's on Earth and he fits in your hand. He's like, uh, yep. Yeah. And it's, it's like, yeah, the kids won't pay attention that the, the Transformers, you know, their physical size doesn't match their, you know, you know alt oh, yeah. size. Because, you know, Optimus Prime is an 18 wheel truck. You know, he's going to be this big. If you've ever seen like an F 15 fighter jet, Starscream would be like three times the size of Optimus Prime. Yeah, right. And then here Megatron is a handgun. But see, this is the thing. This is the thing as adults analyzing these cartoons versus when we were kids. Right. Like, that is yeah, some bullshit. Just, like, that ain't right. Like, be like, I don't care. It's like, you know, when you go back and look, uh, now at some of the episodes, the coloring was wrong. Oh, like, no. they would put the wrong colors and the voices. Sometimes, you know, they would have a character on screen and it'd be somebody else talking. Right. Well, and they'd be like, they, what they is would this? Be the same characters, like the background characters would be like the same characters. They just copied them. When they, when they first released Transformers on DVD, of course, I went out and rushed and got them. And a bunch of us were watching it and there's an episode they, they dropped Spike out of the plane and Optimus Prime yells, oh no! <laughs> they dropped Split! <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you couldn't catch that in the edit? <laughs> That's so good. But they're taught at target audience didn't care. <laughs> no. No, we were like, who caught Split? Like, somebody said Split. <laughs> Quick, make another toy. <laughs> That's right. Repaint, that repaint Spike and call him Split. Well, it's, like bum, it's like Bumble Jumper. Bumble Jumper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I it's like, who is it? I don't know. Am I going to character? <laughs> and see, now uh, if I that happens. my Split action figure now. Yeah, or, if, come on, if that happened now, I mean, look, look at the things that happen now. Like, we have episodes of TV shows. Like, in one single frame, you see a coffee cup and the internet goes crazy well, right. like oh yeah uh, <laughs> you had the the, the guy in the background and they went in and digitally edited him out everybody was <laughs> wanting him back <laughs> yeah. oh so, man That's... don't get me started don't get me no. started on it's cartoons on dude cartoons cartoons yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is anybody else got anything on uh good old 80s cartoons that we may not have mentioned well, I mean, I, I, there was a, there was a lot of them that we didn't get. Oh, yeah. I mean, there, Flintstones, stuff. Jetsons, uh, well, Captain Caveman, Deuce of Hazzard. Deuce of Hazzard. Right, yeah. they did. Uh, well, that's another one. Where they, 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 they were raising Boss Hog and Roscoe around the <laughs> around world. The world. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got to jump the pyramids this week. Count Ducula. Uh, oh, Darkwing uh, Tales. We didn't even Darkwing, talk about DuckTales. Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, Mighty Mouse. <laughs> uh, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Oh, yeah. love that Inspector show. Inspector Gadget. We didn't. We Danger didn't Mouse. Uh, gadget. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, I mean, this, this is probably an episode that we have to come back, you know, 80s cartoons round. You may have to you may have to do yeah. like 80, 81, 82. Yeah. <laughs> I, we could because I mean, good lord, there's just so many cartoons, and and I think we watched all of them. Or oh, I'm sure close. we yeah, uh, uh, pretty close. I mean, there's a handful. Like if they aired at the same time, of course, there wasn't a way for us to watch them again unless somebody magically had a VCR and knew how to use it. Well, that's, that's like a unicorn, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's true. But now, thanks to YouTube and things like that, we can watch. All oh, of you those. can go watch stuff and just go, go crazy. I mean, I've been rewatching all the uh, X Men cartoons. I, I I love those. I, I love the X Men cartoons. They're nineties, but they're awesome. But on Disney Plus, they're out of order. Yeah, right. I mean, it's like it makes the, some of it makes no. It's like, and people about, have complained uh, about that because it's like, hey, you need to fix the order of these. And, and that's another one. That last season's kind of crap. Yeah, <laughs> they changed animation in it. They oh. they changed animation companies, animation companies out, and it and it the budget got cut, and it was just like get it done, and and like and and, and this was a seventies cartoon, but there was. A 70s Fantastic Four cartoon mm -hmm. 
-hmm. where they had to use Herbie the robot because they were afraid if they used a human torch, kids would set themselves on fire and try to fly. <laughs> and, and it is quite possible. I mean, listen, we still have that cape we have, that blanket around. We have I'm people using Gorilla Glue as hair mousse. So, <laughs> today. Some things just don't change. <laughs> yeah, people eating Tide Pods. Come yeah. on. Yes. Th there's a warning on Preparation H not to eat. That's right. <laughs> and I, I have to agree. Don't eat it. That's, don't ask questions. It's just a bad idea. Don't ask questions, but it, don't eat preparation. You would, you, would, you would think it would work that way. It would eventually get down to where it needs to go, but it doesn't work out that way. So, <laughs> All right. Since we got two guests today, we're going to do something totally freaking different for the Nerdy Old Man Rapid Fire Question Session. Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. Since we've got Toy Man Terrence and Perfect Pat on here with us today, me and Wes will each give a question, and then one at a time, both of you guys will answer the question. That way we won't pick on one particular person because we'll be gentler and kindler. Kinder. I can't even talk. Kindler. I like kindler. that word. That's make a freaking word. It's my podcast. I'll make up words, my gosh. Kindler. It's a, it's a perfectly cromulent word. <laughs> cromulent word. Perfectly cromulent. <laughs> right. Just make sure you enunciate on the correct slab. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to look at my screen here, and Terrence is the first name on the screen, so he'll answer the questions first and then followed by Perfect Pat. Uh, oh. Wes, you go ahead with the first question. I, well, okay, what is my first question? Uh, <laughs> the answer is C. The answer is C. But I'm sorry you were not asked the question, Chad. Uh, okay, guys, if you could pick a series to go back and have, let's say, refreshed, because I, like, I don't like remakes, but if you could refresh a 80s cartoon series, what would it be? Oh, well, there, there's there's two. Uh, I'm gonna have to answer both. You only um, get one. You only get uh, one. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, the one I would like to see the most. Um, uh, I would I have to say the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Yeah, good answer. Pat, what you got? Thunder the Barbarian. There Ooh. we go. Story and perfect, yeah. Pat. <laughs> As Uwe the Mom. <laughs> 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 All right. We've seen Pat as Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah. All right. You oh. see me as Ramses from Teen <laughs> Commandments. <laughs> There are awesome. stories for days, folks. Right. Stories for days. Question that, number that, that picture is recirculating my Facebook now, by the way. Uh, awesome. I'll oh, be God, sure I'm not to click on Facebook. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number two. If uh if, if you had to live in the world of G.I. Joe, what character would you want to be, Terrence? Uh, mainframe. Mainframe. All right. You it, already it, it kind are. Of fit. You already are. All right. <laughs> Next, Pat. <laughs> Dr. Mindbender. Oh. oh. I don't Love have to suspenders. wear a shirt. I get a cape and a monocle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 All right, challenge for you. You got to cosplay that shit next time you get a chance, Pat. Well, see, I, awesome. I need to cosplay. What I need to cosplay is the Rancor Keeper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're losing so much weight, you won't be able to soon. That's true. <laughs> All right, Wes, you're up. Oh, gosh. How do you follow that one? You can't because oh. it was mine. No. Oh, Lord of mercy. If, if you got to have tech from one 80s cartoon what would it be and what what uh what uh series would it come from oh oh tech um come on mainframe let's go uh i'm trying to think <laughs> what would be cool tech to have um hmm. I'm, I'm at a loss i don't know there's so many different <laughs> things uh Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Thundercats. Um, uh, the Thunder Tank, maybe? I don't know. It's sort of it's just because you just pre-ordered that from Amazon. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, it's a cartoon show, not a collection show, Terrence. Come on, jump, man. Jump in there. Jump in there, Pat. <laughs> Speed Racer and his Mach 5. Hey, there you go. All right. All Pat's right. going to go really fast. Oh, hey, hey, ha, huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know, we talked about um, movie ad adaptations into cartoon series in the 80s. What 80s film 
would you have wanted to show up as a cartoon that did not? The hard. No, oh, that would have <laughs> been awesome. <laughs> Yippee Kaye! Wait a minute, Saturday morning, pal. (laughs) That would have been. I love it. All right, Pat. Cannonball Run. Oh, (laughs) Oh my God! Isn't it like Wacky Racer (laughs) too? Oh, I mean, yeah, kind of, but you know, not with sexy Burt Reynolds. (laughs) Wes, bring us home out of this madness. Oh gosh. I don't know if we can come home from this madness. This <laughs> no, is... no, we're already there. We're in the hole, but go uh, ahead. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I guess that, uh, I, yeah, I want to go with the pizza question, but I already know everybody's answers on that. But, I was saying, uh, I know we've both done the pizza question. Yes, yeah, we've done uh, the pizza question. Who, who, who was the best? Uh, this, this is going to be a hard one. Who was the best villain, whether he succeeded with his plan or not, out of any of the 80s cartoons? Best villain. I like Mumra. Uh, okay. All right. He Mumra. just wanted to be left alone. <laughs> <He> just... <laughs> it's my planet. Leave me alone. Get off my yard. Pat, you're a villain at heart, just like me. I know you got this one. Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was another one we didn't mention was Rock and Wrestlers. Oh, uh, we didn't mention Fat Albert either. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Bill Cosby course. did that with a paint roller and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the greatest days villain is Cobra Commander. So, well, I don't know, maybe Skeletor, but you know me. Uh, well, I... <laughs> hey, the man. Okay, but you're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Okay. Oh, man, that was funny. And my freaking chest hurts from laughing that's oh, some good yeah. stuff man no they, hey you know what this is gonna have to be edited you know what well was... no nah, forget it i believe it that's us but you know when we when i was thinking about this show i was thinking about these 80s cartoons man and, and every time i did it just brought a smile to my face because i think that was a time um that we can all recognize as being a simpler time even though i said put water in your cereal at the beginning i didn't mean it i meant a splash of milk in your cereal <laughs> sure you yeah did. well, well listen, you know, I, times I were tough get, you know <laughs> i still get up on saturday mornings and dedicate four hours to cartoons I, on various know, streaming services and, and and honestly that you know that that's your form of uh, uh, yoga, I guess, you know, or whatever, you know, to keep kind of uh, a relaxation thing. And I think that's important, man. Like I said, I strangely enough, I've... yoga is my actual form of yoga. But... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I lost. That's how I started losing all the weight. Well, well that's true. It. We're jumping on Chad this episode. Uh, I like, I like this. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to hit these X's and you bitches are gone. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Look at that. Who's got control now? <laughs> My weather dominator. <laughs> My podcast dominator. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah, we'll definitely get you guys back on and, and how Toy Man Terrence kept going back to toys. <laughs> we'll look at doing that sometime in the future. Uh, there. It, we've got to. to. It, it's hard can. to talk about cartoons without talking about the toys. No, you're it's absolutely, so true. You're absolutely right. Well, again, because we, back to what we were talking about, I mean, there were commercials for the toys. So, you know, we, we, yeah. we got we got into toys because of the cartoons. We liked the toys. We started watching and other I did, cartoons. I also you know? know that uh, they were required, like the commercials, like they were actually required to show a child playing with the toy. I mean, that was one of the wow. rules. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Well, all right, fellas. I think we've about hit our our time as we like to on the podcast. But uh, thank you, guys, uh, Toy Man Terrence, Perfect Pat, for coming on and entertaining us and talking. To and us we about did it in such things. a way. I don't think we're going to have my reminder to work out on it, <laughs> <laughs> which typically happens. We're ding time to work oh. out, you know. <laughs> but, but no, just stay tuned with us, guys. We've got a bunch of more exciting things coming up. Uh, always, as we request from you, go and follow all of the show, social media. Uh, spread the word about this. At the time of this recording, we are over 800 downloads for our episode. So that's Thank pretty you awesome. All very much. That's pretty awesome. And we appreciate those of you that have uh, made purchases of our uh, swag and merch products there on our teespring site that stuff is as put down as cheap as we can and we we don't make much off of that but it does help support the show and spread the word so we appreciate that until next time we got uh, toy man terrence and perfect pat i am chad the old bald man and this is redneck wes yeehaw